Hey guys, I'm going to uh, do a closer look at the uh, Die NT. Since I only did a uh, shooting video and I have an unboxing of it, um, and I haven't really uh, uh, shown how it feels or what I think about it, um, I decided to do that now since I haven't made a video in a while. Um, and before I start this video, um, I just want to go over my gear bag video. My pod pack, I couldn't tell if it was if it said AL or RL. I didn't know what it was. Um, and yes, I know now with the Russian Legion pack, everyone can stop busting my balls for it. I know with the Russian Legion pack now. Um, I've always known what it was. I've been playing. I've seen them in tournaments. I, I, know, what I, I know what I'm doing. But uh, I just really, you know, the pack it really just doesn't look like an R. It looks more like an A or something like that. But uh, well, now, that I got, now that I got that out of the way, uh, let's just go over to the uh, main uh, like uh, point of the gun. Okay, so the main difference between this gun and the DM or any other guns is the air is the air efficiency and how you can change the uh, the uh, way it, it has its efficiency with the bolt and how you can uh, basically just customize the bolt the way you want it to be. Now, will it, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you about the bolt in this video just because um, I'm just trying to try to make this little quick video here just to get this up because I haven't put one up in a long time and I'm gaining subscribers really fast, guys. I thank you for that. I've I have three videos. I got. I have three videos up. I have three subscribers, and I've had the count for like I don't know, like two weeks. But anyway, back to the main point. The uh, efficient, the efficiency on this gun. You, if the sixty-eight forty-five, you can get around fifteen hundred shots with this. But with all the spacer mods you can put in, which I'll have a video up that a video up that up on later with the gun, it can go like almost like two thousand um, shots with this gun. Now the feel on it, it is amazing feel. You can really just grip it in there really nice. The UL frame, they had totally redesigned it with the angles and the grip. So uh, it's really nice feel with the Ironman trigger. I took the I took the uh, return spring out, so it's just so easy just to walk it. It's uh, my favorite. A Hyper 3 Red with a new uh, rubber grip form on it. It's uh, really nice, guys. The feel on it is just amazing. I'm a big fan of it. First of all, I'm actually just going to show you how easy it is to take off the grips. At first, when you get it, it's a little bit difficult um, just because it's not worn in. But I'll watch how easy I can do this. Just pop off the back here and pull it there. I, swear, I always switch it around first. And the manual says it differently, but I, I do the, these two top sides first. A little hard the way with the angle I'm in, but oh well. And over here. So, I want to show you guys uh, the UL frame. Trying to get this in the camera view here. Look how skinny that is. It's amazing how uh, good of a job they slimmed it down completely. Um, um, and the uh, the LED lights on it, right? It's right there, and it's right there. Little white cubes. The lights are like really bright this time. I'll turn it on. You can see. It's uh, they're very bright. Might not look like that in the video, but trust me, they're, trust me, they're really bright. It hurts to look at them. Um, grips, uh, pretty nice. Really, so does that same sticky grip feel. Um, I never had it to be really slippery with even when I'm on the when I'm on the field and stuff like that. So that's really good. I'm really happy with that. Oh, and I uh, just recently bought an ego uh, an OAD ego. So I'll have a video of of that of. Uh, up soon as my backup gun I'm using. So look, I just put the grips on in what five seconds. So it's great. Um, Ultra light barrel, same thing. Just has the matching color on it with the red wave. Um, and uh, boomstick wise, guys, I don't think it's a that great of an investment unless you have unless you have that hundred fifty dollars here. You can take my money. Um, if you want a if you want a difference of I don't know, let's say a couple ounces. Go for it. I mean, if your gun's that heavy, only thing to make it lighter is a boomstick. Go for it. But honestly, guys, I say stick with the original UL barrel unless you want the looks or whatever. I mean, I just don't think it's worth the lightness. I don't think it's really worth it. Um, here's a good a close look at this. Really, uh, really good. I'm really happy with the one I got here. It looks looks great, especially when it's in that sunlight and you're playing. I have I have photos of me playing. It just looks amazing. Really, just bounces off the light. You can get you know, certain kind of colors. Um, the back thing, it's a new thing, like the SLG. 
little purge in the back here. So when the air is filled up, this little black cap pops out. You can just purge it when you're done. So there's no gun left in there. Um, you have uh, this. Like if you ever seen videos, they say it's plastic. Um, it's rubberish actually, kind of, kind of really rub really hard rubber. Um, the reason they did that is just to get it that so you don't get blisters on the top if you don't wear gloves stuff like that. And right here, it's just all for comfortability, guys. It's not because dye is too cheap or it's through the gun how they don't want to make it really ex expensive or whatever, guys. It just it's all with the comfortability. Just how dye was being. Oh, what if you hold it right here? And if and it's rubbing against that metal all day, it's gonna start killing. So uh, it looks it's really great. All these things are just for com comfortability wise. Um. The uh, Kemi feed neck, uh, great tool list. So you can just put the hopper on and just twist it the way how you like it. I love that. I think it's great. Um, it fits the rotor perfectly, of course, for die. Um, if you have a Halo B, so right here. Um, fortunately, Halo Bs they don't fit too well, um, guys. They actually don't even fit at all. So uh, there's a problem with that there. I think die kind of made the threads a little bit, a little bit, uh, a little bit finer so you could get that perfect tunage but you know it's it's just uh it's the first time with this so it's wait until they get it good um easily you can move, adjust the triggers um if you guys really want to see me take apart some stuff take the bolt out just ask um i'm only gonna do that stuff by request because uh, it's just a hassle to do it all in one video so if you guys want to see it just put it in the comments i'll i'll do it next video um, I, I said I'd have an Eagle 10 video coming out. Um, I still um, am doing that. My friend has an Eagle 10. He's had it for um, about a month now. Um, when yeah, when I see him and he comes over, I'll definitely make that video so you guys can see that. And then it has the uh, this ASA. Some are faulties. If it was the first 200, mine never had any problems with it. I love it. It's just easy on off on the field. It's one of my favorite things about it because I hate those screwing ones that can never get it perfectly. But um. I love this gun so far, guys. Lightest gun I've ever held. It's amazing. Um, so uh, more videos coming soon. So subscribe, guys.